Good night. So the real question is, why? Why am I wanting to do this? What is motivating me to want to try and do this for 30 days? And well, there's a couple of reasons. Like most of you, I have a day job that takes up heaps of my time and energy and generally goes past the standard nine to five. Make sure we're hitting our goals. So to fit in the things that I enjoy, like making videos, exercising, and spending time with family and friends, I need more time in my day. So I've never really liked early mornings. So I want to prove to myself that I can actually wake up that early and stay consistent for the full 30 days. And thirdly is because of this guy, my dad. For the last 30 years, my dad has been waking up at 5 a.m., exercising, wrestling to get my brother and I ready for school, then commencing his own full day of work in a very intense job. And he preaches the benefits of waking up early at about sort of between 5.30 and say 6.15, that's when all the birds are up. And hearing those birds in the morning yeah. is just such a pleasure. Mm. It's just literally a irreplaceable part of the day. So without further ado, let me show you my progress. But I will say, warning, the following videos contain extremely tired and grumpy early morning hours. Viewer discretion is advised. So the first few days were a struggle to say the least, but not with the wake up. I was so worried about not getting enough sleep that I quite literally just couldn't get to sleep. I have no idea how I'm gonna do 30 days of this. Yeah, look, day four to six wasn't much better. Every morning I would wake up very groggy, <laughs> go downstairs, cry for a bit, <laughs> then start work. But then I started getting headaches because I'd been on the computer for so many hours and it was just a pretty horrible time overall. So considering how terrible I felt, I started doing some research and came across two things. The importance of having a consistent morning routine and a consistent night routine. So after work, I'd have an early dinner with my family, read for half an hour, brush my teeth, then go to bed by 9, 9.30 p.m. At the same time, I implemented a stricter morning routine, which involved waking up and getting up as quickly as possible, pouring myself a big glass of water, some light stretching and light movement for 10 minutes, some intense meditation for 10 minutes, a few push-ups and sit-ups to get the blood flowing, a little bit more meditation, planning my nine to five job, starting work on my own projects, watching the beautiful sunrise, proper exercise, oh, I'm exhausted, proper breakfast, shower, then starting my day. I did these routines every single morning and night. And well, this is the first morning that I haven't woken up feeling like a pile of shit, which is great because I feel energized and yeah, just feeling more positive about it. So the days and hours went by, I thought my body was starting to get used to the mornings and I even started to enjoy the routine and the mornings. But then it all came crashing down. Not enjoying this one iota. <laughs> I'm productive for like, two hours in the morning, and then I'm just so tired for the rest of the day. Honestly, I don't know how people do this like consistently. I need some more sleep. I'm, go I'm still going to bed at like 8 p.m. at night, 9 p.m. at night, sometimes 9.30. I started to spend less time with my family because I was so exhausted and just wanted to go oh, to sleep. I am so tired. Didn't really want to hang out with my friends because I was just completely depleted of any energy I had left. And overall, just pretty average. However, I pushed through, I did the full 30 days and enjoyed the best sleep in of my life at the end. Oh man, it was good. So after 30 days, what did I learn? Number one, the importance of sleep. Never ever sacrifice sleep. Just don't do it. Always prioritize it. Number two, exercise is key to feeling good. When you're getting less sleep than you normally would, Exercise is super important because it gets your blood flowing, it gets some endorphins going, and it makes you feel so much better. Number three, 
Whilst I learned that I actually did enjoy waking up before the birds, I just couldn't do it every single day. So I'm gonna be practicing some balance and seeing if I can do a couple of days of 5 a.m., a couple of days of 7 a.m. Number four. I learned that pre-dawn is actually an incredible time for creativity. I definitely had my best ideas first thing in the morning. The last thing that I learned was that it's so easy to give up when it gets hard. If you don't give yourself any other option, you just say, I will wake up every single day, no matter what, at 5 a.m. and take it one step at a time, one morning at a time, make continuous progress. The satisfaction of getting through the tougher days and succeeding at the goal that you set for yourself will completely outweigh the moments of discomfort that you have. And on that note, thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will not see you at 5 a.m.